Bismillah Khan, born as Kamruddin Khan on 21st March 1916 and fondly addressed as Ustad, stands as a pivotal figure in the realm of Indian classical music. His legacy is eternally intertwined with the Shahnai, a reeded woodwind instrument, which he not only mastered but also elevated to unprecedented heights of popularity. While the Shahnai had long been significant in folk traditions and traditional ceremonies, it was Khan's expressive virtuosity that breathed new life into this instrument, transforming it into a symbol of musical prowess and cultural richness. Khan's mastery over the Shahnai was nothing short of awe-inspiring, catapulating him to the status of a leading Hindustani classical music artist. His skillful renditions and emotive performances on the Shahnai not only captivated audiences but also brought this instrument into the spotlight of the concert stage, marking a significant shift in its perception and usage. His name became synonymous with the Shahnai, and his artistry redefined the instrument's role in the musical landscape. What set Bismillah Khan apart was not just his technical proficiency but also his ability to bridge religious and cultural divides through his music. Despite being a devout Muslim, he embraced the universal language of music and performed at both Hindu and Muslim ceremonies. His music became a powerful symbol of religious harmony, resonating across different faiths and communities. This inclusivity in his artistry made him a beloved figure, cherished not only for his musical brilliance but also for his message of unity and peace. One of the defining moments in Bismillah Khan's career came on the eve of India's independence, on 15 August 1947. His unparalleled talent earned him the honor of performing at Delhi's historic Red Fort where he played as the Indian flag unfurled, marking a new chapter in the nation's history. His music became an integral part of India's Independence Day celebrations, with his melodies gracing television screens every year on this significant occasion. Despite his immense talent and global acclaim, Khan remained humble and grounded. He declined numerous invitations to perform abroad until 1966 when the Indian government insisted that he showcase his artistry at the prestigious Edinburgh International Festival. This marked a turning point in his career, introducing him to international audiences and garnering him a following in the West. His performances in Europe and North America further solidified his reputation as a masterful musician, captivating listeners worldwide with the soul-stirring sounds of the Shahnai. In recognition of his extraordinary contributions to the world of music and his role as a cultural ambassador, Bismillah Khan was bestowed with India's highest civilian honor, the Bharat Ratna, in 2001. This prestigious award affirmed his status as a national treasure and a true icon of Indian classical music. His passing in 2006 was mourned across the nation, prompting a national day of mourning. He became the third classical musician in India, following in the esteemed footsteps of M.S. Subbulakshmi and Ravi Shankar to receive the esteemed Bharat Ratna, a testament to his enduring impact on the country's cultural heritage. Bismillah Khan's legacy continues to inspire generations of musicians and music enthusiasts, serving as a reminder of the transformative power of music to transcend boundaries and unite humanity. His life and work remain a beacon of artistic excellence, reminding the world of the beauty that emerges when talent, dedication and a profound love for music converge in the hands of a true maestro.